welcome to another Blender Vision tutorial. We've got a non-nonsense, direct step-by-step -step approach to getting your tasks done. I'm Richard, you're you, and today we're looking at having your characters manipulate objects in an animation using the Child of Constraint. Okay, jumping right in. Here's our animation here. Uh, if I press play on this, it's a little bit um, low frame rate because I got my recorder going. You can see that he goes through the animation of picking up the object, although the object is not being picked up at the moment. So, right, what we need to do here, we need to, once you've animated your scene here, you want to get to the point on the timeline where he picks the object up, which is going to be around there, uh, frame 79. So there's an easy and a hard way of doing this. I will show you the hard way first because it's good that you learn how to do it even if you don't master it. I haven't mastered it. Things always go wrong with this which is why there is an easier way which I will show you later in this video. So what you want to do is with the with the head or object selected you want to go to your constraints there. You want to add a child of constraint and in the target you want to select your your um, character's armature, which in this case is Ruben Body Armature Proxy. I named him Ruben. Don't know why, he's just random. And you want to select the bone you want to parent it to, which in this case I'm going to go for his wrist, which is his hand IK bone, um, which is his right hand, hand IK right. And this is where the problems start. I mean, you can see he's popped out a, sh out a shot there. So you want to select inverse, set inverse. So now, if you move this, it should, there you go, it follows him there. But as you can see, it's stuck to him throughout the whole scene, right? So we want to go back to frame 79. Do, 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 there. And now you want to add some keyframes. You can add some keyframes to this slide over here. So what you want to do is, if we bring it back to 78, and we bring this down, and we, with the mouse hovering over this slider, we're going to press I. So it changes the orange to indicate there's a keyframe there. Now you change it forward to 79. And bring it right up to 1. And press I. Um, now it should. There you go. He's not, before 79 there, he's not parented to it. But after 79, he is parented. Nice. So when you go to the bit where he puts it down, you just do the exact opposite. So right there on three two three. So we want to put a keyframe in there first. So we we'll hover over, put a keyframe, so it changes to that well it, yours will change to a different colour because I've changed the theme colours on mine, so I think yours changes to an orange or a green. And I move forward one frame and then drag us down to zero, press I again. And it should let go. There you go. So that works pretty nicely. Let's play this back. So he reaches down, the keyframe switches, and he picks it up. Nice. And he puts it down, the keyframe should switch back. There we go. So that actually worked pretty well. It doesn't always go that well. <laughs> so, but there is an easier way. Because that is all there is to it there. But again, it's quite problem problematic. So what I'll do now is show you the easy way. Okay, so this you need to come to the this website. I'll put the link in the description. So you can just click on through. Uh, this guy is a genius and has made a great add-on which does all that uh, parenting for you. It's called the Dynamic Parent parent add-on <laughs> dynamic parent um, 
so you can have a look at this web page and see what it's all about you can see some videos uh, you've got some links here for the video on Vimeo um, what you want to do is click this web link and this will take you here and then this right here you want to click that and it'll ask you where do you want to download it no you want it'll click it bring up this page and then you click download right here you see there's uh, dynamic parent py so you can click here and download it it'll be dynamic parent py and then once you've done that within blender or if you open up a new instance of blender it's on the wrong screen um, you will just go to user preferences Oosh, can't get the button user preferences go to add-ons and then down in install from file click that and then you can find it where you saved it and install it once it is in it's installed underneath the add-ons here you will find uh, if I type in dynamic there you go animation dynamic parent you want to select that box okay once you've done that let's get back to our original file so this is the original file again this is without the parent in being put on so he just goes through the motion so what you want to do now is do it the same again find where he picks it up which was 79 we said and press your T to get your T bar menu up and you can see under animation tab you've got dynamic parent you've got these buttons here so all you got to do is you want to select the object that the, the bone you want to you want to parent it to first so this is the wrist bone or the hand IK and then shift select the object you want to parent it to it which is the head and just click create job done so now it is stuck and the best thing is before you click it it doesn't it, it is unstuck so you don't have to uh, put numerous keyframes it does it automatically for you so it picks it up and then when you want to put it down you get to the point where you put it down say there and then click disable and then after that then he's let it go she picks it up see how easy that is brilliant nice and easy not much more to say on that I just gotta say this this add-on is absolutely fantastic <laughs> it just makes it so much easier and you can see what's going on uh, and if you click on your constraint it's all done there for you basically what you did before except it does it all automatically just by one click of a button over here on the create or disable you see there if you watch this slider here you can see how it changes as I scroll along see so it does it all for you so there's no messing up so this way you don't get any mess ups you don't got to click set inverse or clear inverse because that can be a headache sometimes kind of get what uh, trying to get it to the way you, you want it so there you go thought I'd help you uh, suss that one out it's nice and easy when you know how isn't it so there we go I'll see you again some other time Ciao, blah.